Uh, listen, we're starting off with, with mon monkeypox. Yeah. Um, now, cases rose this week by 4 to 101. Um, is this something that we need to be worried about, the cases are rising slightly? Keep an eye on it. It's not mm. a hugely serious disease. Very few cases in Ireland as a whole, mm. of course, you know. Mm. And there's a vaccine. That's the good news, really. And at the moment, they're vaccinating close contacts of people who have it. And the vaccine really works, which is tremendous, you know. But again, a kind, kind of a concerning thing. It's a nasty enough disease. It won't kill you. Mm. Awful pockmarks on your skin. You get a fever like the flu it's nasty two or three weeks out of work so you know be careful is the message mm. as well I guess. and you're saying that there's a vaccine is it, is it like a monkeypox vaccine or, or, or have they developed well one? It, it's in the pox virus family we don't yeah. talk about pox viruses us immunologists it's a very famous yeah. family there's of a lot viruses of pox out there isn't it well, the, the good there. old chicken pox exactly yeah. yeah and it's different to covid thankfully less severe it's a dna virus by the way okay. uh, covid is rna there's a big difference there mm. the smallpox was the famous one by the mm. way which was lethal the smallpox vaccine protects against monkey Pox, and we've loads oh, of smallpox vaccine in the world, you see. And in Ireland now, we have lots of uh, smallpox vaccine to, to use and protect people. OK, yeah. it's interesting now how, how familiar we are with the language of uh, whether yeah. it's quarantine and you know, yeah. everything that yeah. goes with, with the viruses. Uh, people are more sensitive and more aware to viruses now, especially after COVID. Is the, the monkeypox virus, is it as smart as COVID, you know, when it comes to how the virus evolves? Is that something that we need to look at? Not really. It's felt very slowly come out, which is good news, mm. unlike COVID, which can change. That's mm. one good thing about it, I guess. Yeah. And you catch it from someone who has it on their skin. You know, okay. you see these pock marks. Anybody can catch it off anybody else. Skin to skin contact right. is the main way you catch this. If you have any pock marks, go and see your GP. Okay. Or go to the SDI clinic. Sexual activity can spread it as well. Okay. Skin okay. on skin happens. Yes. So go to see your GP yeah. basically and, and get and yourself checked out. And you if know? you have it, you have to isolate as Indeed. well. Indeed, it takes about two or three weeks, and eventually it all goes away okay. and you get over it. But of course, there's a risk of you spreading it to someone else. Mm. If you're immunocompromised, okay. it might get very severe, and that's a tiny worry. But again, what's happening is close contacts are being vaccinated, which is great. That'll protect them against disease, mm. basically. Okay, and just to paint the picture for people, I guess the first thing to do is obviously go to the GP. But yep. what is the process? And we all know from COVID, it was go get tested. And you have all the, all, the, yeah. all the results. So how does it work? Go to your GP, they'll test you, first of all, to make sure it is monkeypox, and then you're told to isolate, take fluids, paracetamol, all these kinds of things, and identify your close contacts. Okay. And they then get vaccinated is the current situation. So. And no. just out of curiosity, if you are someone who has to isolate, how long are we talking? Well, as I say, it begins after two or three days, the little lesions begin to appear yes. in your skin, you'll feel flu symptoms, headaches, fever is, is a symptom, mm -hmm. of course. Right. Two, three weeks it takes to get over okay. this. And it's a nasty thing on your skin. It looks horrible, you know, basically. And so it's a pretty nasty disease to get, but it's, it's, it's recognisable with these little blisters. And it's okay. the fluid in the blister right. that spreads the virus. Mm. So you can imagine if skin to skin contact, okay. the, the blister breaks and the fluid then transmits it to, to the person okay. who's been exposed.